welcome back again to Healthy Living. Once again, we are blessed here in the studio to have David Wolf visiting us here. Today, we are going to be going over an introductory course in making smoothies. David is a researcher, educator, and author on the topics of raw food nutrition, superfoods, herbal healing, and of course, chocolate. His books include The Sun Food Diet Success System, Eating for Beauty, and Naked Chocolate. David, thanks for joining us here again. Okay, so what do we have here and where are we gonna start? Okay, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a smoothie. And the idea here is that for one meal out of the day, instead of actually like sitting down and eating something, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create like a super drink. Yeah. And like an energy drink, mm -hmm. but our own energy drink. The reason why I like to do that is because if we can take one meal a day and turn it into a liquid, it's so much easier. Easier to digest. Because, yeah. you know, the whole premise behind digestion is whatever we eat has to be turned into a liquid. The old saying is, uh, chew your juice, yes. drink your food. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of this idea here. We're going to be drinking our food. Sounds incredible. I think it's going to be perfect and excellent. Okay, so first step in smoothie making is what is our base going to be? What's the liquid going to be? Okay. And there's different choices. One choice could be water. Okay. Another choice could be coconut water, which is going to be our choice today. One of my favorites. Another choice, strangely enough, could be coffee. Coffee. So we take that coffee, which is just hitting kind of one note, and we spread it around so we hit a bunch of notes with it, and therefore we don't get kind of stimulated too far in one direction. So, so you can like uh, bring down the impact, the negative exactly. impacts of the coffee. You can balance with it out herbally, super few, herbally. with superfoods. Really, That's exactly right. So, okay. A lot of times people drink coffee to deal with stress, right? But then after a while, it flips around, and all of a sudden, it's causing stress. Uh, yes. And we can help with this kind of a diet with these foods to kind of cushion that a little bit so people feel good always. We should always feel great every day. You know, that's the whole idea of nutrition. Right. You are what you eat is a fundamental code that God gave us. It's, yeah, part, I, of the, it's I, part of the setup. We're gonna put in here and we're gonna get it, we're gonna cut open the space. Now, this is actually a coconut. Okay. Okay, we ready? So now okay. we're gonna cut into this. Now, this is something you're gonna have to master at home. And uh, fortunately, I've done this a few times. Now, tell us about the properties of the coconut. Coconut water is the best form of electrolytes going. There's okay. nothing better than coconut water for electrolytes. What that means is it has sodium in suspension, potassium mm -hmm. in suspension, so it's good for your blood. Yeah, I've heard it could talk about wheatgrass and uh, coconut uh, for the blood. If you mix wheatgrass about 55% with about 45% coconut water, just this water that we have right here and there, you have something that's basically a blood transfusion. Except for it's got magnesium instead of iron. Right, exactly. And so magnesium in chlorophyll is flipped around into iron in our blood and pretty much they're identical. Chlorophyll and hemoglobin in our blood are identical. Mm -hmm. And th what we're doing here is we're kind of taking advantage of a long body of knowledge about coconuts, which has stated that coconuts can be used, the water can be used straight into our blood. Is that done anywhere in the world? It has been done in certain conflicts and wars that have happened in the past, but good thing that all those conflicts and wars are all over with because now we're living in paradise. Right. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, this is really a lot of fun, we're gonna cut this thing in half and we're gonna get all that go all those goodies out of there. See all that meat? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can actually get this. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I've split this thing open. Anyway, this is, well, look, at there's our sample. That's a meat, that's the meat. And notice that it's not that thick, hard, you can't chew it, or it's really terrible. It's gelatinous. It's thin and gelatinous. And this is the stuff that's really good for rejuvenation, for youthening. And I'm actually just gonna put this in your hands. What we're gonna do is you're just gonna kinda spoon that out, and let's just see what that looks like. Let's make sure everyone can see that. We spoon that meat out, and we're just gonna put that in there. And okay. while you're doing that, okay. we're gonna move on that? to step two. Well, so this is what I've read. Okay, so saturated fat, you don't, you want to avoid it except in coconut, uh, coconut oil, and I think palm oil, isn't that another one that has saturated well, fat? Well, okay. the thing is, is people say, well, okay, well, saturated fat, what about cholesterol? Yeah. Is there cholesterol in this? And the answer is no. There's no cholesterol found in plants. And that's really important to understand. People say, well, no, no, that's, I read it somewhere. If you do the research, you'll find that there's no cholesterol in plants. We've got our coconut base in there. We've okay. gotten to step one. Now we're going to step two. And that is we decide, is this going to be a chocolate smoothie or not? 
<laughs> okay, it's okay. so a chocolate smoothie. These, this is chocolate nibs or cacao nibs. These are pieces of the actual chocolate bean that all chocolate is made out of that we did on our previous show together. We That's talked right. about this. And inside this bean, you can actually see the chocolate. Now, we have broken the, the skin off and we've gotten these into pieces. And we're going to actually put a few of these pieces in here. And the reason why we do this is because chocolate in its natural state is so darn nutritious. Yeah, and now, now this is separate from the uh, raw chocolate powder. Yeah, let's talk about these two products here for a minute because okay. we, we have the whole beans in there now. Okay. We took those nibs and we put it in. Now we want to talk about some of the alchemical sides of chocolate. Okay. This product right here, which is the powder, and it's a real, I mean, it's just, I mean, the beauty of this product is outrageous. Okay, so what benefits does that have? Because, I mean, I would, I would gravitate towards this. Okay. If you, I'm have, up for that. if you have the cacao bean or nib, and you have the powder, and you have the oil, and that oil is pressed out of this bean, yeah. cold process, cold, prop, cold pressed, and then what's left over is this cakey material. This is kind of an alchemy. What happens if you combine this, that, and that, is you get a more complete and rounded chocolate flavor. Okay, anyway, so we're gonna get that in there. We throw that in there, and uh, it's so, you know, it's just a relief to make a mess. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so then we're gonna take this, Cacao butter, which right. literally, it's it just outrageous. Yeah. Women, if you're watching, let me tell you something. You can take this raw cacao butter. Put it you can under put your it eyes. Right under your eyes, right over here. It's the best oil ever for your skin. And you were mentioning that it's in most cosmetic products. This product in its cooked form is in almost every cosmetic product known. In its raw form doesn't exist. This is the first raw cacao butter ever, or cocoa butter, if yes. you've ever seen that. You've seen it in suntan lotions. Yep, and exactly. Things. So we're gonna put that in here. Why are we doing that again? Because it just is the best ever. Okay. Okay, so now we've got our chocolate and we have our base. Right. So we have all the preliminary ingredients to make the best drink ever. Now what are other options that you could use if you don't have coconut and you don't have coffee? Okay, you could use, for example, water. Yeah, okay, or water. Or tea. Okay. These are all uh, choices for bases because we've got to have something to actually blend it into. And what we did is we, we chose coconut and then we put chocolate in. Okay, now what's our next thing? Well, I really like to look at some of our berry ingredients. So um, that's going to bring in the antioxidants. That's so we have the so we have, we have the fats, which are going to help ground the mind and uh, ground the body, mm -hmm. and and also kind of like uh, uh, grease the nervous system, so that kind of like provide oil for the nervous system. That's right. To help it react smoothly. Keep okay. going. Yep. Uh -huh. you're, if you're vegetarian, this is really important because. This is a type of a smoothie. This is 100% vegan, vegetarian. Right. No animal products whatsoever. And this is a way of getting that real flavor and taste sensation while getting all your nutrition. So you can literally have the best day ever and enjoy every part of your eating experience without shame, guilt, or fear. Works okay. for me. You ready for our berry antioxidant Remember, blast? That's right. Okay, so what do we have now? Talk about the values. Strawberries. Okay. Strawberries of the benefits of berries and uh, their antioxidant properties. We're going to really go berry crazy here because this is just the best ever. Okay, um, so, so we put okay. in about a cup or half a three quarters of a cup? cup. No, that was about a cup. Well, strawberries. Half a cup. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to put it all in here. That was strawberries. Now, this is raspberries. Yeah. Raspberries and chocolate go so well together, it's just ridiculous. Uh -huh. It's a kind of a traditional Yes, that's thing. right.